Hello everybody, so this is TJ from NTW, and today we're going to be making a butterfly on the rainbow loom here. So, I am dedicating this to Kelsey. It We are making a butterfly, as I said. So, the colors that I'm using here are the neon blue, the white here, some purple, and pink. Check the description for the full band count. So um, let's get started on our butterfly here. So first we're gonna make some feathers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some feathers here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hook, we're gonna wrap a white band around, creating five loops. Take a pink, double loop it, and pull the white onto that band. Now we're gonna take our blue, our neon blue, double loop it, and pull that onto the pink. And then we're gonna take a purple, double loop it, and pull that onto the blue. And now we're gonna put that onto our holding hook. You wanna make 16 of those for of the those feathers, I have them right here on my holding hook. You or you can make the all 32 for the wing. You need eight for each side. And now we're gonna make the bottom ridge feathers. So basically, it's just same thing, just one more band. So we're gonna take a white, wrap it around, creating five loops. We're gonna take a pink, double loop it, pull the white onto the pink. We're going to take a pink, another pink, double loop it, pull that on. We're going to take a blue and double loop it. Oh, shoot. This is stuck here a little bit. Let me just, there we go. We're going to take a blue, neon blue, double loop it, reclaim. And then we're going to take a purple, double loop it, and reclaim the ends. So you want to make five of those for the entire wing, or ten for both of them. Now we're going to make the really big feathers. You only need to make one of each of these, or two if you're going to make all the feathers for the wing. So let's start with the medium-sized feathers. So we're going to take a white, wrap it around our hook, creating five loops. Let me just check here. Okay. We're going to take a pink. Double loop it, pull the white on. Take another pink, double loop it, pull it on. Take a blue, double loop it, pull it on. Reclaim the ends. Take another blue, double loop it, pull it on. Take a purple, double loop it, pull it on. Okay, you need to make one of those. Now we're going to make a, even the biggest feather. Okay. We're going to take a white, wrap it around our hook, creating five loops. Take pink. Take a pink, double loop it, pull the white onto the pink. Reclaim. Take another pink, double loop it, pull it on. Take another pink, double loop it, pull it on. Take another pink, double loop it, and pull it on. So you should have four pink. Now we're going to take one blue. And there are two purples. And then two purples. So one purple. And now our second purple. So this here is our long feather. Now we're going to make another one, which is a little bit shorter. It's two of each color, except for the white. You only use one of that. Wrap around, creating five loops. Double loop a pink. Double loop a 
pink, pull the white on, double loop another pink, pull it on, double loop a blue, pull it on, double loop a blue, pull it on, just want to make sure you can see my loom in the whole picture here, okay, double loop a blue, pull it on, double loop a purple, pull it on, and double loop another purple and pull it on there. Okay, that's our third feather, feather number three. Okay, let's just check my thing here. Okay. Now we're gonna make feather number four, which is the exact same thing. So make two of those feathers. So we actually need four for both wings. So I'll just make that right now with you. I'm not going to say it step by step. I'm just going to do it off of camera here. Quicker. Pink. Blue. Purple, purple, okay that's feather number four, and now our last feather for the wing. It's basically the same thing as the other one, just one less purple. So double loop of pink, yeah. double loop of pink, pull the white on, Double loop another pink, pull it on, double loop a blue, pull it on, double loop a blue, pull it on, and double loop a purple, and pull it on. Okay, so you got our feathers right here. You want to make four of these feathers for both wings and two of every other feather. So now that we have all our feathers done, we can actually start making the wing. So you want to have your loom sit in the offset position like I have here. I'm going to take two pinks at a time. I'm going to go down this row, so ten times. here. Okay, now we're going to take two pinks again, continue down, going down this row nine times. row we're going down this row eight times okay so that's five six that way and 
two bands that way. Okay, now we're going to attach our smaller feathers. Those are the ones with a white, a pink, a blue, then a purple. And if this is your second time making your wing, you want the feathers to be pointing toward, you want the feathers pointing to the smaller side every single time you do this. So we're just going to put our feathers down here. I'm going to start up here, put it on, tuck it under the band behind here, push down, put this one here, push it underneath that, push down, another one here, put it underneath that band and push down, another one. Here, push down. I think you know what we're doing basically. Just attaching the feathers onto the second column, the middle column right here. And then just turn it on. So you want the feathers to be pace facing the, 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 the row with eight. Okay? We are putting a feather here. Notice how I did not put a feather up here or down here. We don't want feathers there. Okay, now we're going to put on some horizontals. So take two pinks at a time. I'm going to go across here, across here, across here, across there. Take a single pink. We're gonna take a single pink, double loop it, and we're gonna put it right on these two pegs here. Okay. Now we're gonna take more of those smaller feathers. We're gonna put them right on top of where we put the other smaller feathers. Just right on top here. Exact same spots as before. You don't need to tuck them under anything. Just leave them up. So make sure they're pointing in the same direction. Last one is right here. Okay, now we're going to take our longer feathers, the ones with four on it, and we're going to attach it onto these five pegs here. So, one goes here. Last one goes right here. We should have five pegs left. One here, here, here. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to take those other feathers. We're going to take the one with five on it. It's going to go one of the ones with five. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. The one with five. That's going to go right around here. Almost six. I'm gonna go right around here. The one with the other side of six is gonna go around here. The one the long the longest feather of all is gonna go right yeah, right here. Sorry. 
Alright, it's just like so far away from me. And the very last feather. Eh. I just like lost the loops here. Just give me a minute. Grab those loops. Okay, we're gonna put that on the very tip of the wing. And of course, I still lost the band. Okay, once again, very tip of the wing. Okay, now we can turn our loom around and start looming. So you can pull back that feather, reach down, grab the top two bands, loop them diagonally, reach down, pass the feather in the horizontal, grab the top two, and I missed one. Let me just fix something here. Okay, we can loop. Okay, I fixed that, so loop those diagonally. Yeah, it's all screwed up now. Loop those up and diagonally. Now you can loop completely up this row. Just be careful not to make sure you grab the right bands. second row here. Sorry about shaking the camera a lot. Maybe you can see this. Last row, I might do this. I'm probably gonna do this one quickly because there is no feathers on this column. Okay. So now we're gonna tie off our three loose ends and a random color. I am using. Stick our hook through. Stick the hook through. Grab it and slip knot it. Slip knot the next one. Sorry if I lift the loom up while doing this. Okay, now we can carefully lift this up. The loom. And the feathers might be poking through the wrong sides. We'll fix it right after it's off. Like all the feathers might be on one side and not on both. They should be on both, but we can fix it. The magic of our fingers. Okay, just keep lifting that off.
here's our little screwed up wing here. As you can see, all the feathers are on one side and not on this side. So what we're going to do is just pop the feathers all through the other side here. You can pull them through. Just pull them through the horizontals. You should have eight on each side of the wing of the tiny feathers. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have all eight on this side, all eight on this side. Now you have to go back and make a second wing. You can make it symmetrical if you want, unless you're putting wire in it, then you don't have to make it symmetrical. But if you're not, they bend in opposite directions when you make them symmetrical. So basically you would be making one, two left wings or two right wings. So I need some more pink here. You're not going to need the blue anymore for this. You are going to need some black, though. So I'm just cleaning up the blue. Uh, you're going to need some black, not a lot, just a little. You're still going to need your purple. You're still going to need a little bit of white or whatever your eye color is. color. Okay, so let's get working on our head here. So in the head, it's all double loop bands. So we're going to go here. So let's double loop. We're going to go down six times. This is the upper jaw. Actually, first let's make the antenna. So take your purple. Actually, take some white. I'm going to do this differently. Take your white, you're going to wrap it around creating five loops. You're going to take a white, double loop it. You're going to double loop five whites. So one, two, three. Four and five. Now we're going to double loop nine whites. So you should have fourteen. I didn't make a didn't make one in advance, so you can just double loop nine of those. You should have fourteen bands all together. So that's six. I'm not going to show you on camera. It takes too long. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 14. Put that on a holding hook. Gonna need to make another one here. So, take a white band, wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Double loop of white, yada yada, you get the point. Okay, so that's one, two, Three, four, five, not five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so that's our second antenna. You only need to make two antenna for this entire project. Okay, set that aside. Okay, now I'm gonna go down this six times. Okay, so you can finish that off. Four. Exact same thing on the other side, so one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to take our nostril color and our hook. We're going to wrap our nostril color around our hook, creating four loops. Double loop another pink. Pull the nostril on and put that between these two pegs. Push down. I'm gonna grab another black. Do the same thing on the other side to make our other nostril and pull that on. take a white. We're going to take four white and wrap each one around our hook creating four loops. They're going to be our eye color. So whatever color you're using for your eyes, wrap that around your wrap around four of them around like so. T double loop of pink. Pull every one of those on. It's going to be your eyes. No, it does not have four eyes. I just wanted to make the eyes bunched up. Okay, now we're going to put these two loops between these two pegs and these two pegs. Spread the eyes apart. Grab two of the four bands. Two of the four bands in the middle. Make sure that's good. Yeah. And put it around that middle peg there. So there's our eyes. Okay, now we're gonna keep putting our horizontals on here. Just keep double looping. Alright, double looped. Double loop it. And double loop another right around here. Now we're gonna take our antenna here. We want to attach our antenna onto this peg. No, right? Let me check. I have another one here. I just need to check. No, we want to attach it on this peg, so it's facing down, and attach the other one, so 
it too. It's facing down on the other side. Okay. this off. Now bring it around creating four loops. Reach underneath the cap band. Top two bands, bring them over. Get these two. Be careful because they are double loop bands, so if they snap, you should replace them. You should know how to replace this. Bands. We're gonna loop this. Okay, I'm gonna just keep looping up the edges here. Slip all the way up to the top on all of them. it off with three random bands. I'm going to use white. Two whites, three white. Okay, now we're going to very gently part of its head so don't worry we're gonna make another part just gonna poke our eyes through here's our eyes here's our nostrils and the way that we're gonna fix the antenna is we're gonna go to the third band here after the cap band so first band second band third band we're gonna open that up with our hook and pull the entire antenna through that band there that pulls it up Okay, one, two, three. I'm gonna pull the entire antenna through the, those four loops. Don't snap your bands though, unless you have to redo it. These are double loop bands. You can put wire in this if you want. I probably will not, because I like how bouncy it is with these little thingies here. Okay, I need more of my body color. And we're gonna make our lower jaw. For the tongue, I'm going to use some fuchsia bands because you only need like six of it. That just separates it from the pink. So I'm not gonna make a pink tongue. That looks, will look too alike. Okay, so now we're gonna double loop again. Gonna go down the middle seven times instead of six. It's basically just the same thing, just one more, and we're going to be attaching a tongue and the upper jaw onto it. So one, two, three, four, Go down the sides six times. So one, two, three, four, five. 
five, and then six. Okay, you could put one here too, because we are not attaching anything onto there. Okay, the loom's staying in the offset for the position for this entire thing. So one. more. Pull it across those two pegs going diagonally. I'm going to cap this off by taking a pink, wrapping it around, creating four loops. Now let's make our tongue now. So you can either take a fuchsia or pink, depending on what color you use for your body. I'm going to wrap that around, creating five loops. Double loop it. Pull it on, double loop another fuchsia, pull it on, reclaim, and double loop another fuchsia, pull it on, reclaim, now take two fuchsia, pull it on and reclaim, just put that on the bottom of the hook there like I did. Gonna double loop some horizontals across through the pegs all the way down. Band snaps. Let's replace it. That'll be a smart thing to do. Probably gonna run out of pink here. So I am going to use the solar pink after once I run out. Because I did not have enough opaque pink for this. Okay, so we're going to turn our loom around. Let's start looping. So we're going to go there. We're going to loop almost all the way up to the top. Okay. So we're going to loop here. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. And we're going to stop right up here. Right up here we're going to stop. We're going to go up. Grab the next two bands here. exact same point as the other side. Try not to loop fast on these bands. I'm not because they are double loop bands and they can snap easily because they are under so much pressure. Now here, I'm going to loop that up, loop up, once, twice, three times. Okay, we're going to stop here on our tongue, and then loop up one more time. Now grab our upper jaw, we're going to put, put on these three loose ends of these three pegs, so you're going to go through the loops, follow the right brand, white band through, do not go around the loops. Put that on. And loop that up. I like to attach both sides on first. So it's easy to do the middle. Okay. And loop up. Now. Band here. You can pull the head back and then we're going to attach it right there. Now we're going to tie off with three different bands than we use on the upper jaw. So I'm going to use black because I prefer to have black while I'm tying off my ends. Sorry if you can't see this here. I just attached all three of the upper jaw up here. 
Now we're going to carefully take this off because they are double loop bands and they snap easily. I'm saying to the person that I'm making this for that looks like a clam, that looks like an Easter, an Easter, um, Easter, Easter, what do you call it? Easter, what am I making? Easter butterfly. Kind of come up if I was making. Make sure your eyes are poking through the white ray. You don't want your eyes in your mouth. Okay, so this is our head here, a little head. A little butt head. Okay, now we can make the body. Okay, so we're gonna keep our loom in the offset position. We're gonna go two bands here. No, we're gonna go two bands here, then two bands here. You can see this, right? Yeah. Okay, two bands here. This is all two bands. This row here. I keep forgetting. How did I do this? Oh, now I see. Did not do it like this. I went. Cross here first. Wait, wait, what? What am I doing here? Let me just look at this. This is my first model here. Okay, so I went like that. I like that. I like that. Oh, now I see what I'm doing. Okay. I went like. seems right. Sorry about second guessing myself, guys. I was kind of new to this. Okay. Put that aside. That's my second model here. That's my revised edition. That's the one that I'm making in the tutorial with you guys. Kind of changed it up a little bit. I changed the antenna and the way I did it. I'm going to continue. I'm going to go all the way up this row. Um, let me just check here again. I did. Whatever. Okay, just keep going up this row. I think I might need to start using my solar bands. Doesn't matter once they go into the sun. And that looks cool. I'm actually... When I do this, I'm actually, I'm going to take this off, sorry guys, I'm going to do one regular pink and a solar pink here, I'm going to grab my solar bands, I'm going to do a regular pink and a solar, it's going to keep going like this, it's probably going to look weird when it's done, or it might look cool, I don't know. <laughs> I just have some solar bands trying to get rid of them. I don't really use them in my in the video. I don't really use them a lot. I'll use the solar blue and the solar white. The solar white's cool. It turns to like a dark white, light pink. Then when we're doing the horizontals, we will use the regular pink. I think we'll use the regular pink. For the horizontals. Wait, let me see this. Yeah, I 
just went straight up that route. All right. Okay, so we're just going to continue up this row here. One solar, one regular pink. You can do this if you want or not. Your choice. Actually, put our two bands here too. Okay, now we're gonna continue up this side. Two pinks at a time. If I have enough opaque pink for the horizontals, I will use that. If I don't, though, I will use the solar pink. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try scavenging all my pink. Don't really have a lot. So we're going to do two pinks here. Doing our horizontals now. Two pinks here. Two pinks here. I'm like trying my best to use thy pink. I might have to go into my other cases here and grab some pink from them. Steal some pink. And I'm oh, I'm gonna put a double loop pink right down here between these two pegs. By the way, this too, um, I followed Courtney's designing tips a little bit. Oh, I didn't follow them a little bit. I followed them to make this to come up with the design for this I mean okay this will help us later at the end so we don't have a hole in our end of our body no one wants a hole in their body okay now we're gonna turn this around we're gonna oh shoot you can take the white tying bands off of your head. I forgot to take those off. I do that all the time. Take the white tying bands off if you attach them on securely. Sorry if you can't see it. If you attach them on securely or right, when you take it off, it should not come apart. The upper jaw. Do not take the black tying bands off or whatever you used at the end. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go through the middle, middle set, attach it onto this peg, right. attach it onto this peg, attach the set on the left onto Basically, since butterflies do not have tails, I'm not making a tail. So, yeah. So, if I look at my thing here, it looks exactly alike. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two solar pinks here. I'm going to put two solar pinks on all the pegs right here. Not all of them. Not up here, but on most of them. And not here, so... Put them on almost every peg here. Okay, let's keep putting on our two loose bands. Okay, now we're gonna loop up this column like those two, like those loose bands aren't even there. Just loop right over them. And if they fall to the center, you want to bring them back up because they will look weird at the end. Like, 
say it goes like this, say they go like this while you're looping, you want to put it back before you loop it or else it will look weird. Okay. And loop all the way up that column there. I'm going to go underneath this, sit here, grab the top two bands, if I could actually grab them. The top two bands, I'm not putting any loose bands here, just loop up regularly, almost to the top, yeah. And also butterflies do not have legs, so really all we had to do was make the wings and the head. Easy, huh? <laughs> Stop right up here because we need to loop this guy first. But first, I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna loop up four times. So one, two, three, and four. Eight. Loop up five times. That seems right. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, so now we're going to take our wing that is bending upward like this. We're going to flip it so it is bending upward. We're going to go through the first set, touch it onto this peg here. onto that peg there, loop up once, only once, put the next two bands, go through the next two bands, place that on these two, that peg there, that peg there, loop up, place that through here, place that onto there, and loop up the rest of this all the way up. You can take the wing off the pegs now that it is secure. And you can just look at it. That looks right to me. Looks right, right? How many times did I loop up? Five times. One, two, three. Yeah, I looped up five times. I have to remember that for the next part. And right there. Don't forget to loop that guy or it's all going to fall apart. Okay. Tie off with two random color bands. I am using black. Go through the other loop. And now we're going to make sure you leave that loose set dangling on the right side of your head. We're just going to pull this off here. See how it looks. Looks, not legs. Did I say legs? I don't know. <laughs> okay. okay, so there's our body here. Pull all the two bands out to the edges here. We're going to need this for the next part. You should have 11 sets of two bands. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we have 11. So here's our wing. You can remove the tying bands on the wing, only the wing. If you take any other tying bands off, it will fall apart. Actually, you could take the two off that we attached onto the, the that's attached to the lower jaw here on the head. Only the two on the right, on the left side. Not the one that isn't attached yet. You 
take that off. Your whole head's going to come apart. And if your head comes apart, your body's also going to come apart. And you can't reattach a head. I already tried. <laughs> Okay, so just take off all those black bands there, except for that one and the two up here. And we're going to do the other half of its body. This one I might seem a little confused on. So we're going to go here. Actually, no, I won't be. Um, I'm going to go here. And here. Okay, we're going to go up this side here with our solar paint. We are not going to put any horizontals on this side. We're going to use those two loose bands as the horizontals. It's called the mural technique by Justin's Toys, I think. Rob from Justin's Toys. Courtney Nicole from How to Loom Your Dragon also uses the mural technique on some of her baby things. Okay, let me make sure we're good here. So we're going to attach the other side of the head on. Other side of the head. We are almost done here, guys. I know it's a long video, unlike my usual videos. Tell me in the comments below. If you want me to make a separate channel for all of these tutorials. Okay. Take some tube take the two bands here. Put them across these. Across these two. Just to stretch them across these three right now. So it should look like this. And we're just gonna to go underneath here. Two, loop up the top. Two. Make sure those ends stay on. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna mark this by putting a band right here on where I need to stop. We're gonna loop up here. I think it would look cool with the. Solar mixed in. Okay, we can take off my marker band. That's where we're going to attach our wing. So we're going to loop up to here where we left our horizontal, where we left those two loose bands attached onto. We can lift some up so our butterfly does not get stretched out. Not so much. Just enough. So that it looks cool. It totally looks cool. Okay. We're going to take our other wing. We're going to attach that on to these pegs. Like so. Let me see if I'm attaching this on right. So I put it like this. loops up here, right around this peg. Nope, nope, wait, wait. You gotta put two loose bands across first, and to the next peg before we loop up. 
don't want to make a mistake like that. I'm going to attach this on now. attached the wrong set on. Sorry about all these mistakes. This is my first tutorial video like ever. So I never make them really. Um, I don't make my own tutorials. Okay. Let's try this again. Attach the set onto the peg. Boom. Yay. Okay. Grab the next two bands, put them around. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, good. This actually came out right. Okay, before we like block this, let's loop two bands up here. We can lift them up from the bottom so it is not all stretched out. Ooh, that was close. Um. Attaching the next set, but I have to like hold it close to me because if this band falls off, the entire project falls apart. I lift a little bit too much up. Okay, there we go. Got the next two bands, put it on these two pegs, and loop up there. There. Okay, loop up there. Touch the next two here. Two here. Okay, we can loop up to there. This is going to touch our last two here. Now this is a little bit difficult. What we want to do is we want to go through. Oh, this isn't difficult. The other side is. We want to go through those loops there. Sorry that I hit my camera there. My computer stream. And we'll go through the loops there. Just make sure I'm going to lift some up. So I literally do not break that. We want to go through the eight on this side too. That's eight sets. Actually, we can loop up first. What am I thinking about? We can loop up first. I'll make it a little bit easier. So we'll loop up here. Release some. Now, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put. I'm going to go right through there. Also, grab the horizontal on the inside. Or not. Either way, it's fine. And you want to go through all eight loops of this. Sorry you can't see it. I like hold it close to me so I can see it better. It's a habit that I do. So Okay, I think that is all eight loops. Yes, it is. We're also going to wrap that around. Also going to wrap that around this peg. We're gonna loop the row in the center first. Okay, you wanna like have a lot of room here. Row in the center, row on the right. And now this is really hard. Not really actually for me. 
all the way down got the bottom two bands going to the left. I could have done this a different way, but I think this was easier. Okay, I'm going to grab that all through. We're going to tie off with a solar pink, not a random color band. We want to use the last band that we used here the rest of our little Easter 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 butterfly off Easter fly okay as you can see those are all tied off there you can pull off the two black bands Ooh. bands are sticking out mm hmm Okay, we're going to take off all the black bands here. Uh, sorry, you can't see this, guys. Okay, now we're going to take the black bands off of the wing. Crush his, wing, crush his or her wing while you're at it, too. Take the one set off around the head. Now, if you want to make a B, you could use the same thing and just like extend it a little bit out here to make a stinger, but I am not making a B. So, what we're going to do here, we're just going to go through some random sets in the body right here. Grab the loose end here. pull it through. So here's our butterfly here. Kelsey, I hope you like it if you're watching this. It's your butterfly. Now it's just time to make the stomach. You can either make the stomach white or pink, whatever you want, guys. I think it kind of looks, what do you call it? Cool. Don't you think the bridge in the middle, too, on the sides? Okay, this is a fat butterfly. Okay. Now, I do not think I have... Oh, I do have enough light. What you know? Okay, we're going to take some white. We're going to go up here. Over here. Almost done, guys. Just need to make the stomach and attach it on. Okay, we're gonna go up there. I'm gonna go straight up the middle. I'm gonna try doing this quicker because I want to upload this. Okay, let's finish this up. Let's make our stomach. So I'm using my white bands here. Ugh. Late. I'm tight and I have to go to camp tomorrow. Oh, right. It's only 9.15. Not bad for me. Okay. Go to bed at 10, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Whatever. So we're just going to keep going up here. All the way up. Now we're gonna go up here, up the right side, or left, whatever you guys see this as. This is the left side for you, but the right side for me. Keep 
using two bands here. If you love it, now I'm actually into the two bands part of it. Going down. Okay. Now we're going to go to that way. Now the last time I made this, it was a little fat, so instead of doing two horizontals, going to double loop my horizontals. Almost done here, guys. Just gotta make the stomach. It's not like Courtney tutor Baby Dragon tutorials aren't this long anyway. So. Okay, now we're gonna double loop our horizontals. Now, since I can flip it if I need to, I need enough of the opaque pink so I can put it on my edge bands here. That should be enough. I need enough opaque so I can put my edge bands on. Did I? Mm. I don't have my other one where I finish the stomach. I could actually finish the stomach. And get your fiber fill ready if you have it. I have a giant bag of it. So this is going to make the stomach a little bit tighter so it's not a fat butterfly. Because fatter by the butterflies are fatter flies. Butterflies are nice and small. Well, they're not fat, that's what I mean. But Let's get my box out of the way here. We need three more. One, two, three. Okay, and our last light goes right here. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to put pink on each one of the pegs here. Each, just like one pink, not two like the body, just one. Just one pink on each peg here, and one, okay. We also want to take a white and cap off our end here, I'm just saying. And we're also going to put one pink there. Now we're going to take our solar pink, do it on the other side. So, solar pink. It doesn't You don't have to do it precisely on where you put it. Like where you put one side of the pink and the other side of the pink because you can always flip it over. We're going to put another Pink, solar pink on top of the regular pink over here. And we're going to loop this regularly. Grab the top two bands, loop it to the side. Grab the other top bands, loop those to the side. Grab these two bands, loop them up. Loop up. Let's do the sides first. So as I loop, they don't fall off. And I'll do this side first. So you grab every two bands looping up regularly as if those loose that loose band is not there. This is the stomach attachment method that Courtney also uses. So I follow that. Okay and we're gonna go right here. Now we're gonna loop up the other side.
really fast. I'm trying to finish this. Okay, up and up and up and up and up there. Now we're going to take one regular pink, one solar pink, and slip knot it to the very top here. And we're going to pull it off. Our loom, we no longer need our loom for this project now. Hip, hip, hooray, or not, whatever. <laughs> okay, pull all our loose bands out to the edges. Grab your butterfly. And find where to match the solar pink up. We're going to go through half the bands in the middle here. On the, right underneath the double loop where the jaw is. We're going to grab... Either one of the two bands in the center there. Wait, am I doing this right? Was it here? Yeah, that seems right. Actually, we're gonna go through same set, but I wanna make sure that that is there. Let me just see where we should go through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, perfect. Okay, so we're going to pull that through, leave it on our hook, go through the edge here, the other double looped, grab the other solar or regular, pull it through those bands there, and through the other band. Push it down on your hook or hook and do the same thing again. That's how you are going to attach on our stomach. Like a so. Dang it. Okay, you're going to go. Just keep pulling those bands through. This should not take you very long because this is a small project, or at least small to me, because I make all of Courtney's big designs, mostly the big ones, I don't really make the small ones, you can stuff this if you want, I probably will, but you don't want to overstuff it, don't use a lot of stuffing though, that's what I'm basically, ow, Keep hitting my freaking head on my computer. Okay, just keep stitching up it up here. Sorry if you couldn't see it. I had it close to me. This is the habit that I have when doing this. Pull it in closer. We are going through the sides of the loops, not the tops. The sides, you can see the horizontals poking through. Okay, and through there, and through the last set right here. Could be tricky, and pull the solar band through. Okay, you can use like a spare hook or a pencil to hold that on there. I would use something that's not greased. I have another hook, so I'm just going to use that. Now we're going to go through the other side. So we're going to go through the other, ha other half of the loop. And pull that through here. If you have enough pink, go ahead. But I just ran out of pink. It was more pink than I thought it did. There's more bands than I thought it did, I mean, really. Okay, now we're going to attach the other side. We're about three quarters stitched up. We can stuff it, some stuffing in. So I'm just going to keep stitching up my butterfly here. Once again, this is dedicated to Kelsey Bullion. She plays on my sister's softball team. 
call her Angry Penguin. <sighs> so here is the Easter. Here's your Easter butterfly. It's not really made for Easter, it just has Eastery colors. It may look weird, the butterfly, but it's kind of cool, I would say. It's not like I immediately just switched it. Like, it's kind of cool, and then I blended it in, and then I switched it. Okay. We're, like, halfway stitched up. We'll stuff it. So right now we can put some stuffing in. Grab my bag of stuff behind me here. Grab a little ball of stuffing. And shove it in its stomach. Ugh. Don't want to overstuff it, as I said before. So the stuffing is poking out. Put a tiny bit more stuffing up at the top here. So everything needs a stomach. Sorry that I took that away there. Okay. Just gonna keep going through here. Go through the next two. It sounds like I'm drawing on the table here. This did not take me very long to design. It was kind of simple. This was my second design. I was going to release a tutorial for my Maleficent dragon, but I kind of stopped on that because I ran out of yellow and it will be released when I come home from sleepaway camp because there I can get design for more. And maybe we can put some more stuffing at the bottom here. I can reach it through. Yes, I can. Okay, I just took it away because it's easier for me. Okay, and grab the opaque pink. Now we're going to grab both ends here. Is that both ends? How long has this been? An hour and a half about? Yeah. Okay, so here's our butterfly, our finished butterfly here. Mm. Okay, we're going to grab two ends, pull it through some random sets in the body or the stomach. I think I'm going to go through the stomach, not the body. Okay, grab the two bands, pull it through the stomach, and clip it off with a C-clip. I prefer to use C clips over S clips because C clips hold it more, even though they are a little bit more annoying to get on. It is more secure, and you need to buy the authentic green balloon bands because those do not snap as easily. All the other ones, when you double loop it, they snap. So, here is our finished butterfly baby. I will probably not do an adult. Well, maybe I will, but it will be much bigger. Probably use two or three looms. So, I all hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.